Hi guys, I'm back. Sorry about that. That was a really bit ridiculous of me. Um, I did something really stupid. Um, I went to help my garden, my mum in the garden for a bit, and um, I came back, and the game had been running. Um, so I've, uh, yeah, I've lost about. Well, I know we started um, on the 16th of June or something like that. So I've loaded this auto save. Um, so I'm hoping that I've lost about only about a month. Um, but even so, I've still been wasting IC for about a month and uh, haven't really been doing some um, good things. Um, I'm just going to confirm that this is not this is not date. And there's no date parameter this to this. I have to do this before um, the USA or Soviet Union. Oh, well, it's not very helpful anyway. Um, so where we I left off, I was about to uh, come and pursue Bismarck. I need to find the Marines. Here we are. So I send my Marines up to Dover and all these units down to Italy okay I can't carry that extra, I can't take the extra division but no matter So I need to think about how I'm going to confront Bismarck. I mean, Bismarck itself is not too powerful. Um, I'm aware of that. Um, I can probably take her down with battleships and carriers and things like that. Uh, so I have those at my disposal. Um, well, what's my naval bombers like? They're actually not that bad. Hmm. I'm going to build a naval bomber just for flavour of nothing, uh, I'd be able to use it to help and stuff. If only they've obviously tried to take Snegays quite a few more times um, in the time that I wasn't there, um, and they're trying to break down my defences in um, Italy as well. So not good overall. But no matter, because um, I am actually here now, so... I can reinforce now. I have the capability. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. You can cancel that attack. Uh, these guys are a bit roughed up, actually. For a reason I know not. We go about to intercept those damn Jerry bombers. Not sure where I'm going to deploy everything at the moment. It's um, <sighs> sort of lost the initiative a bit with um, with that sort of lapse of stu with that stupid, stupid thing. I did. Oh my god, Italy! That is something constructive. I can't believe that. That is, whoa, blowing me away, Italy. Oh god, this is not even. This is, even this is looking pretty bad. You can hear my door creaking in the background, by the way. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. I'm just going to confirm that uh, Bismarck is indeed Bismarck. Hmm, not looking good in Denmark right now. No, the annoying thing is I need to hold Orasund if I am to um, take down Bismarck. Yes, it is indeed a battleship. I suspect the other ship I can see is either a transport or a... 
or a uh, destroyer, or a destroyer flotilla, as I should say. Perhaps more likely to be the first, to be honest. I have a lot of ships at my disposal to take down. Uh, I get to be sending the American destroyers down to Singapore. Uh, I forgot I had these. Um, these can be used for scouts. They're Tech 1 destroyers, they're not really worth anything, to be honest. They're Clemson, Clemson class, I think is what they technically are. Uh, American Clemson class, or one, is it 1200 class? 1200? I don't know, I'm not sure. I think that's their official designation. They're really trying to break me here. I need to think about how I'm going to go about this. I will attack with the 6th sec Army. The 6th Army is essentially the army I have to, at my disposal to attack something. Uh, and I'm thinking at the moment the attack should fall here, in this region. Oh, well, that would be nice, wouldn't it? Oh, yes, I know, I'm going to try. This is going to be a bit risky, but, you know, nothing I have done so far is not risky, so... Um, you know, you've got to try risky stuff in Hearts of Iron, otherwise you're never really going to achieve anything. We'll send for them to now. Right. Let's let that roll for a bit. Let this run. Da -da -da. Da -da -da. Oh, sorry if I sing, by the way. I find it very tempting to sing all the time. I sing to myself a lot. It's a very bad trait. Where's um, Dresden? Well, these are two quite significant attacks we've got going on right now. The one on Slagaze is perhaps the most worrying. Oh, we're going to win this. Luckily. Okay, the Slovaks, the Slovaks are now being left alone to deal with this. And they won't break through. They won't break through now. We will win this battle, as much as the uh, ratio looks pretty bad. Oh, oh! Stop that now. That is a bad, badly damaged wing there. I seem to have. Have I lost bombers? My bombers all seem to be pretty disorganised, or in groups which I hadn't intended. I may have been losing some bombers. That's very bad news for me. That is absolutely terrible play as well. Very, very bad. Luckily, my fighter forces seem to be intact of nothing. But these aren't actually mine. I wish the uh, your allies were a little bit more proactive. Um, I'm just going to shut my door. Excuse me. What's the result of that big battle there? 6,000, 7,000 casualties they took. Oh, another big battle. Ah. Oh. So, um, I, you've probably noticed I've gone a little bit off the ball right now. Um, the reason for that is because I've just been having a break. Um, so, 
I've sort of fallen out of the mood, play Hearts of Iron, and into the mood of uh, something different, doing something different, which is gardening, and I'm very interested in gardening. Uh, um, my mum, whilst I was in France, was ironically um, at Monet's Gardens, and I'm very jealous of that. Um, I would have loved to go, my, loved to go myself. Um, You can see me doing a little bit of a reorganisation here. I want the first army to take jurisdiction for this region here. Um, whilst the... Uh, I'm going to get this wrong. Fifth army takes jurisdiction for this region. Which is going to be the region I... Yes! I assault in. <laughs> you can see we just got the rain right. Uh, oh no, I got it wrong. Even. The sixth corps. First army. Oh, okay. Um, the sixth army is going to take jurisdiction for this. Sorry. Attach it to the 6th Army. The 6th Army is going here. Uh, and it's going to constitute of mainly armoured corps, actually. Um, I may attach the 11th to the 6th. So, you can see the 6th is here, gearing up for the assault. Um, and the 1st Army is here, which is not really gearing up for an assault right now. 10th Corps. Okay. Ooh, what's going on? Oh, okay. no crash. Oh, shit. I just lost a wing. Don't press that button. I don't... This is so weird. This is so unlike me. This is very, very sloppy play. And I just... I've been losing air force. I've been losing everything all over the place. I've just been letting British missions run whilst I was attacking in uh, the Balkans and catastrophic results, to be honest. You can probably notice I'm trying to invest rather heavily in my fighter force right now. One, two, oh, only really two wings in construction. I'm going to start building interceptors as well now. I've just... I need them. The third armor core. Right. If you've noticed, this is going to be another characteristic Giles encirclement plan going on here. Um, excellent. We have some more divisions at our disposal. Uh, these are going to go over to the first army. And these are the thirteenth corps, which is based here. Ah, I'm getting confused. This is to the 14th core. Only one division in this core. Uh, can anyone ever see any other core I can attach it to? Apart from the armour, I'm not going to attach it to. Okay. We'll keep these guys in reserve. These are just be a reserve division for now. These are out of supplies. They're not going to regain more. I've been thinking they will, and of course they won't. My marines are here. This is going to be a difficult battle to annihilate. Uh, I'm, I'm happy, content for now, just to let this sit, this front sit, for uh, whilst I uh, organise my forces for the assault on Bismarck. 
I'd want to. I want to do something which is not going to damage my supply so much. Um, but I know this is not going to work because anything I seem to do which involves Copenhagen or Denmark it seems to hugely damage my supply network anyway. So. Right, I'm speaking a bit quieter right now. Um, there are people in the house, so you know I don't want to just annoy them all. That's not even worthy of a mention of that battle. I'm annoyed I've been losing bomber wings. I swear I had more bombers than this at my disposal. This is actually alright this way. We'll send them out again. It's alright, I do remember that, that Hungary is a... Um, I, they, they will be able to retreat through Hungary now, so... I am aware of that. I can afford to chain rare materials, obviously. supply situation in... See, so I think things are even out of supply in Copenhagen now, ever since I moved this area here. So, unfortunately, I'm going to have to be a little bit more conservative. Oh my god, these bloody naval bombers. multi-roll have a very impressive range, which is why, mainly why I've been building them. Um, that was my justification in the first place, but uh, I'm not actually sure they are as good as interceptors. You can see me trying to intercept anything where I might be attacked. Well, this operation will be fun of nothing. I believe that I've been depriving you guys of something crazy and fun recently. So, you're going to get your fair share of fun, crazy things. Oh, stupid supply. Well, I don't even understand why they're out of supply, you know. It's not even as if Copenhagen has hardly any IC. It's level 9. Yeah, these guys need to keep moving. Ah, good. We've moved up. We don't even seem to have been harassed too much by a... Uh... Oh, whoa, whoa! KMS chill! Oh dear. Look at this. This is a bit risky what's going on right now. Chiz Bismarck and Trapet Turpets have actually managed to close with my transport fleet. But... Oh, those are transports! Ah, they'd be very misleading and sneaky. Going on. Okay, guys. Sorry for the stocky play right there. This time there will be no mistake. 
Turpets and Bismarck, so they have two battleships against two carriers, one escort carrier, six six light cruisers, six battleships, three head battle cruisers, and a whole load of like everything else. This is a bad port for them to be in as well. Oh no, down there. You can definitely tell I'm rusty in this one. I haven't played in a while. And the AI, the German AI is going berserk! They believe that the invasion of the Mathala land has begun. This is not the case, this is... Fort striking. I hate the Germans. <laughs> Not in reality, I have nothing against the Germans. Or against anyone in that matter. It's wrong to judge people by what country they come from anyway. The SS Wustrung is um Ver Fusgang is um, a single brigade, it won't stand up to uh, the Royal Marines. Four divisions of them as well. I need to get um, these guys ashore. I want to make sure they're not lost in the ensuing battle. You're getting so far, I seem to get quite experienced now. Here we go. Where is it? Where are they? Where are they? Ah, oh, the bastards. They got out. They got away. They uh, moved too quickly and are too across too small a distance for me to be able to catch them in time. Meanwhile, <laughs> I have a huge battleship fleet off nearby, ready to destroy them if I get the opportunity. Which I will, because I'm going to give myself the opportunity. Luckily that wasn't lost, that air wing. I don't know what's been going on with my gameplay. Terrible things, mainly. Four. Five carrier air groups. They could be doing some damage to me right now, if they wanted. Stetton is not a good place for them to shelter in. I want to get them this time. This time they're going down. Turpets and Bismarck, you know, the UK and reality spent massive amounts of resources getting these two. Bang. 
Well, that sorted them out. <laughs> that was pathetic. Time to bravely retreat. He didn't even do any damage. Who got him? So, Royal Oak got business, got turpets, and... Oh, who got Bismarck? The heavy didn't get. It. Oh no, mate. No. My God, is it going to be a screen? Don't say a screen. Some like KMS Bismarck. Cardiff, Columbus. Ah, oh, I know who it might be. Yes, <laughs> it was my uh, carry air groups. Unfortunately, that was not a good move by the uh, Creek's Marine there. They should have cowered in port. Sallying out to fight my for, to fight my carrier fleet was a bad decision. Um, but even so, um, my um, first battle fleet isn't needed anymore. It's not required. So off to Singapore you go. Once I can retreat them, I will. Uh, Konigsberg is only accessible from Bonzo Bay. But I'll make sure that that's going to happen. Right, so Klagenfer is going to be the first principal direction of... Oh, well, the first principal province of my attack. Um, I'm just looking at the resources that I have at my disposal. Four divisions are going into to get phase three, um, which isn't sufficient. So we'll make sure it is. Oh, that's five. send these two techs up to the top. Wasting IC. Um, no. Not motorised. Not going to build a motorised division at this stage of the game. Oh, there's a river here. All of them are getting a river crossing penalty though. This is going to be a tough battle, by the way. A very tough battle. As will this one. These two provinces need to be broken though for uh, those operations to be successful. How many painful ways can transports be killed? Bang! 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 Ah, oh, they got away. I can't imagine Sea Lion being feasible anytime soon. This 
is going to be such a huge battle. We will break them, don't worry. Have faith in my forces. <laughs> this is such a harsh air battle. beefy um, armoured units coming out right now. Got more I see from somewhere. Oh, maybe it's my Balkan conquest. Oh, the Kriegsmarine has been purged again, so they've been taught a lesson, so I can reinforce again. I can um, feel safe again, even. Not I was feeling particularly threatened. on this side of the of the uh, river, whatever that is. That was a holding attack, but I should have cancelled it earlier. That was a lot of losses for me there. Another interesting news, um, DTR Radioactive is back. Yes! Or uh, Night Raider, as I should call him. That's actually his name. Good, we won less battle. I'm going to redeploy stuff to here, my like reserve for. I seriously need to break through this problem. Better escalate the assault, I suppose.
Oh, I didn't need to attack with everything. Hmm, I'm not feeling like I'm playing very well today. Probably because I'm not. Only Italy was offering more support to me. Not that uh, Italy is a spent force, to be honest. This is a spent force from 1936. Hmm. I wish the Danish would stop building subs. They aren't really, they were not gonna be finding any convoys here, are they? Oh they could get one. My radar coverage is good now. There's the free French. They have battleships still. That's why I sunk their navy, technically. An intense battle. Oh, look at that. That is. That shows you why it was hard fought. It's raining. That's strange. When I left, when I left um, the UK. It was a uh, rainy all the time. When I come back, it's really hot. So apparently, I am the cause of the rain, or as the correlation would suggest, anyway. Mm, I don't know what I'm going to do with these people. I let my marines. Uh, Heal up for a bit. They can use their medi packs. <laughs> I hate that in uh, in first person shooters. How you can sort of just you know haphazardly use your medi pack to regain all your health. Very weird. I'm not a big fan of first person shooters. It's not realistic enough for my liking. They're far down to far too much team sort of gamey exploits, which of course, you know, extend parts of Iron as well, but... It's time to start moving forward with our, uh, with our armour. Oh, there's a lot of divisions in this province. Start exploiting that gap. Pushing forward. If you noticed, I've tried to leave my armor divisions as much as I can out of the fight itself. Um, I'm going to see if I can find an armor division somewhere which I can bomb with my uh, close air support. Uh, they haven't actually got any, so that's reassuring, I suppose. Oh. Big battles, big losses. Um, mind you, I think the gain from these uh, big battles will be far, far bigger to in my favor, far more in my favor than uh, than towards them. Now, the, I expect the AI will spook because it will sort of notice that I'm starting an encirclement. So this it's all about me being quick now, or as quick as I can be, anyway. They seem to have uh, scared off their fighters for a bit. It's 
so we'll keep trying to push. Push their uh, disorganised divisions out of the way. Um, and I've just noticed that this presence is incredibly weak and incredibly vital to them. I can finish this encirclement <laughs> earlier than I think I can. If I get to here, um, and I take this province as well. Uh, oh crap, I keep forgetting about the gaze. I just wish they would be in supply, no one needs to babysit it so much. That's fine. Heavy armour. Bloody hell, they really do believe Denmark is their biggest threat, don't they? Oh, you know those uh, Brits that are pushing through Austria right now? Yeah, we need to uh, deploy the heavy armour divisions, you know, the SS Panzer, to uh, Denmark to make sure they're under control. Hard one, hard forward. You can see I'm running out of good commanders very quickly now. group is a bit strong, isn't it? Yeah, they they can't they won't recover from this anytime soon. This is a textbook counter-attack, which is going to be countered by my own less powerful counter-attack. Come on, armor, let's get moving. Time to launch the holding attacks. This is looking familiar. Hmm. They pulled in the Slovaks, they pulled in the big guns. guys don't have so much experience. Yeah, look at their experience. This is very difficult.
get to escape this one. Fortunately for them, this has been quite an excessive successful offensive. Um, this Slovak division is sort of holding it all together, to be honest. Uh, and you never want to rely on a Slovak division to hold it all together. Um, not because they are Slovak, because they are no good, essentially. The only thing is, these are going to be difficult to eliminate, these guys in the mountains. It's going to be very difficult indeed. Have to do it though. people I can actually use is quite difficult. Hopefully stacking penalty will start to kick in for them soon. I do not want to keep fighting these battles. Again, armour fighting the mountains. Once I break into the plains of Germany, there things will be different. I'm hoping I can beat, at least prevent, most of Europe from being um, Soviet. I don't think much escaped this, uh, this uh, encirclement. What? There was a division there a minute ago. Must have retreated it. Maybe wondering what I'm trying to do here, and so am I. <laughs> ah, so here we go. They're really reinforcing them now. As these frontline divisions uh, fall back, they are proving a nuisance to break in the mountains. But we will break them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, kind of, it's a step back in division. Eight, uh, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen divisions. So thirteen, um, thirteen German, one Slovak division, in one form or another. And I see. That push has made us took and taken us ever so slightly closer to Vienna, uh, which will be the ultimate target of this offensive. Um, why? Why are you even allowed to attack with HQs if they have no organized? If they they retreat immediately.
send everything in. We'll break them down. So this is sort of the routine, sort of a, well I'd like to say it's routine, it's sort of a bit, this is not brilliantly handled because of the terrain, uh, but it's sort of what the example that you'd like to achieve. Um, and one of the crucial elements of this encirclement has been air power, um, as per usual with me. I like to invest quite heavily in air power. What is this? The Frankfurt. Oh, we'll go for an attack of Frankfurt. Oh, look at these guys. Seriously trying to break out. That was to see if I could get catch another division, by the way. Which I turned out I couldn't. My arm was looking pretty experienced as well. How that's the one advantage having small army is that's going to be pretty all pretty high quality. Trying to break down these guys is a bit of a pain in there. And that also means we have almost broken through the Alps as well, so Germany has been dealt a big blow here. Well, I'm talking as if it's already happened. It's going to be dealt a big blow if you want to be politically correct, I suppose. Well, I say politically correct. What I really mean is just correct. reach them. I remember now. This spells the end of this encircling I fear. I feel. Not I fear. 36 infantry divisions and brigades. Nine infantry brigades. There's a whole load of infantry. We'll happily retreat out of here for now. So we're a supply from Athens now. We're getting supply from some quite random places, to be honest. Athens is not a good place to get supply from either. Some bad infrastructure has to go through. I'd rather be supplied from Trieste or uh, Venice, which is a level 10 port. Even Split is a level 6 port. Oh crap, I've done that again. <laughs> 